is from Kerala. We will wipe out the tears from the eyes of common man, words by Mahatma Gandhi. Yes, and for this, good governance is a must, and for good governance, a majority government is an adequate thing. So I would like to point out or put forward five important points as to why I support majority government or why I feel majority government means fully focused governance. To which the first point is the availability of a targeted leadership where the majority government has a more powerful central political leadership who can guide their leaders and representatives in the right direction in an effective manner rather than a coalition government where the number of leaders are more and the central power are getting diversed. My second point is the ideological differences where the parties which form the coalition government have different social, political and economic identities which leads to a problem when they take a strong powerful decision and the example is in 2004 when the left parties tried to provoke, provoke the UPA1 government when they pushed for a nuclear deal. was a typical example of this reason. My third point is regarding the pressure groups. The influence of pressure groups will be huge in case of minority government because they represent different sections, communities and interests of people from our country. Rather, it will be very less in case of majority government. My fourth point is regarding the stability of the government where a minority government or a coalition government can be brought down from the power easily by any political party by withdrawing their support to the government which leads to policy paralysis in turn leads to destruction and demolition of our progress and development of our nation and my last point is regarding corruption where these small political parties which form this coalition government will influence the major political party to implement policies which are according to their own will for their own selfish financial and uh, political motives which leads to corruption, horse trading and many other illegal activities in the political spectrum of our country. And not to mention strong, powerful and revolutionary ideas and policies such as GST implementation and demonetization can only be implemented by a strong majority government. And in the light of all this, to envisage highly specific policies and programs which are beneficial to the general public in common can only be done by a majority government or rather it will be inevitable without a majority government. So in light of all this, at this point of time, if you don't have a majority government, decision making process will be very tough. And corruption can also happen. And I would like to conclude by saying that if there is no majority government, our nation will be doomed to dust till the tenure of five years. And at this point of time, we should have a strong majority government with a stronger leadership and more stronger uh, opposition to have our country forward for the betterment of our future. Thank you. Suraj S. from Kerala shared his views with us.